Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Hello, 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 and welcome to Daily Devotional. I am Sharice Johnson Moore, your host for Daily Devotional. And today, we are going into 2 Chronicles chapter 5, 1 through 14. 2 Chronicles chapter 5, 1 through 14. So... It describes the climatic moment when Solomon completes the construction of the temple in Jerusalem and brings the Ark of the Covenant into the newly built sanctuary. The chapter highlights the dedication ceremony, emphasizing the priests and Levites carrying the Ark into the Holies of Holies. As they do so, the temple is filled with a cloud symbolizing God's glory. The chapter underscores the importance of worship, the presence of God among his people, and the fulfillment of God's promise to Israel through Solomon's leadership. This pivotal event marks the beginning of a new era of worship and divine presence in the life of Israel. So I want you to get your pad, your pen, and take notes. And let's learn let, let's get into how we can apply what we learn today in our daily living. So come on now, let's get busy. All right now, let's deep dive into the word for the day and we are in second chronicles chapter 5 1 through 14 second chronicles chapter 5 1 through 14 and it speaks about the ark placed in the temple the ark placed in the temple and it reads thus all the work that solomon made for the house of the lord was finished and solomon brought in all the things that david his father had dedicated and the silver, and the gold, and all the instruments put he among the treasures of the house of God. Then Solomon assembled the elders of Israel, and all the heads of the tribes, the chief of the fathers of the children of Israel, unto Jerusalem, to bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of the city of David, which is Zion. Wherefore, all the men of Israel assembled themselves unto the king in a feast which was in the seventh month. And all the elders of Israel came, and the Levites took up the ark. And they brought up the ark and the tabernacle of the congregation, and all the holy vessels that were in the tabernacle. These did the priests and the Levites bring up. Also King Solomon and all the congregation of Israel that were assembled unto him before the ark, sacrificed sheep and oxen, which could not be told nor numbered for multitude. And the priests brought in the ark of the covenant of the Lord unto his place, to the oracle of the house, and to the most holy place, even under the wings of the cherubims. For the cherubims spread forth their wings over the place of the ark, and the cherubims covered the ark and the staves thereof above. And they drew out the staves of the ark, that the ends of the staves were seen from the ark before the oracle, but they were not seen without and there it is unto this day. There was nothing in the ark save the two tablets which Moses put therein at Horeb, Horeb when the Lord made a covenant with the children of Israel when they came out of Egypt. And it came to pass when the priests were come out of the holy place, for all the priests that were present were sanctified and did not then wait by course. 
also the Levites, which were the singers, all of them of Asaph, of Heman, of Jeduthum, with their sons and their brethren, being arrayed in white linen, having cymbals and, and palmistries and harps, stood at the east end of the altar, and with them an hundred and twenty priests sounding with trumpets. It came even to pass, as the trumpeters and singers were as one, to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endureth forever, that then the house was filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord, so that the priests could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord had filled the house of God. I have just read 2 Chronicles chapter 5, 1 through 14. O oh, dear Heavenly Father, let us start our day off with praise. Praise for you. Praise that you will, you are awesome. You are great. You are mighty, Lord. And we know that you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And there is none like you. There is none like you. Lord, we give you all the honor, the glory, and the praise. Lord, may you add a blessing to the reading of your word. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Second Chronicles chapter 5, 1 through 14. It speaks about the ark placed in the temple. The ark placed in the temple. Now we see that Solomon has finished putting everything together for the house of the Lord. He has finished building, he has finished uh, putting the furnishings in. Everything is prepared, and now it is time to bring all the congregation together, the priests, the Levites, uh, the children of Israel, and everybody meets in Jerusalem for this celebration, for this bringing of, uh, creating a place for God to rest with them. And it is a moment where the celebration begins where they do their burnt offerings, their sacrifices, and the sanctification of themselves. The uh, priests and Levites are all gathered together and they are sanctified and everybody is dressed in they white. They best white. They white. Okay? And it, 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 it brings to my to my understanding of, you know, it's Holy Convocation Week, okay? Holy Convocation Week. Um, that is what we, how we celebrate now with Holy Convocation Week, where everybody, the men, the women, everyone, everyone is dressed in their nice white. And everybody, you know, is in this celebration mode, and everybody comes and celebrates, and and they, you know, they come together and celebrate God. They have trumpeters. They have psalmists. They have, uh, the, uh, I put it in, in, in today's term, they had the musicians, okay? You had the musicians. Then you had the psalmists. You have a choir. You have everybody playing an instrument. You know, you have that, you know, how we see it today in our society for church, 
Uh, they have, you know, the 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 organist, the guitarist, the pianist, uh, you know, drummers, uh, and they're singing and they're praising God, and they come together for a big celebration to give knowledge, to give a reverence to God, to give Him His glory, and sing and praise and worship and dance, and it's a big, 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 big celebration, right? And there is. Uh, you know, and in it, and it is a time to reflect of how good God has been to you. It is a time of celebrating God and thanking Him for all His grace and mercy He has shown you, and all His loving kindness that He has bestowed upon you. And and in this celebration, the celebration gets so overwhelming in this in the in the house of the Lord. That God comes and sits down in the place with a cloud. And the Holy Spirit comes in, you know, it, it is is it is the Holy Spirit that comes in um with them and um they bring in the Holy Spirit with their music and they're singing and they're dancing and they're praising and, and all these things and the Holy Spirit comes and dwells in the place. And the Holy Spirit is so powerful. The Holy Spirit is so powerful that that for a moment in time, there is a a feeling of that God has stepped in the place. That God has stepped in the place so powerfully that it says... And it came in 513, and it came even to pass as the trumpeters and singers were as one to make one sound to be heard in in praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endureth forever, that even the house was filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord, so that the priest could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord had filled the house, filled the house of God. That they had, they, they just... Praise is so high. Praise is so high in the place that when the Holy Spirit comes in, it it takes over. It takes over the it 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 set it sits it comes in and dwells within us, and it takes over so powerfully that the, they stop playing, that they could they, the pre the priest. And the, the Levites couldn't nobody talk, couldn't nobody. It was just like it just came in and and like a flood, and it was so powerful upon them that it sent them into a a a position of laying down the spirits, laying down the bodies, laying down the Holy Spirit came in and filled the place, and there was nothing no one could do. Um, they had to, they stopped playing. They couldn't speak. They it, it was just like how could I say it? It's 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 a it is an experience that is undescribable because the Holy Spirit is so powerful that it will get you to the point where you can't talk and you can't move and you end up on your knees and. You end up you end in, end up in a position of bowing down to God because the spirit is so powerful in the place. And it is an experience that you will never experience in your life. Uh, you know, you will never experience it in that fathom until you get in the presence of God. When you get into the presence of God, you thank him for everything that he has done. Thank him for the good, bad, and the ugly. And when we give our praise and worship to God, that is what pleases him. That is what uh, he wants from us. That is what he desires. And he will come in and sit on you and dwell within your body. And you just... And you just can't say anything. 
not a mumbling word. You know, when the Holy Spirit comes and dwells inside of us, it is an experience like you've never experienced before. Where you end up on your knees and you may be bawling, crying, because you know how powerful and how good God is has been in your life. He has delivered you from some things. He has delivered you from that bad relationship. He has delivered you from the abusive relationship. He has delivered you from um, guilt and shame that you may think that uh, is happening in your life. God delivers you from so many things, and He has, and 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 you are so astonished that God loved you so that He gives you another day. He gives you another day to praise and worship him and to give him reverence. And that is how we should get up in the morning, that we praise God for everything that he has done in our lives. You know, um, and when we put God first and we pray and we bring, when we put God first in our lives, this is what happens. He, there's happiness, there's joy, there is uh, you know, where there is a, a place in your life where nothing bothers you, nothing takes you out of your square, and you are totally, you are totally letting God lead the way in your life, and you understand that um, He is in charge and in control of everything that goes on in your life. So I say this morning... Get to praising and worshiping God no matter where you at. You can praise him in the car. You can praise him on walking down the street. You can praise him uh, in your house. You can praise him. You can praise God anywhere. And and don't worry about what people look at. Don't worry about what people say. Just do your praise and worship, okay? Do praise and worship. Turn on some music today. Turn on some, some good music, some some nice gospel music, or maybe a nice instrumental, uh, uh, you know, where it's just the instruments playing, you know, that brings in the Holy Spirit too. Um, Praise God. Praise God for the things he has done. And you look back over your life, is there something you can praise God for? Look at all the stuff from the time you've been born to the time of now. Look at all the things that God has brought you, brought you through, brought you over, brought you, uh, you know, just, just brought you, you know, and think about how good God is. Well, you know, he love he loves you unconditionally. He loves you whether you're right or wrong. He loves you anyway. He doesn't hold grudges against you. He doesn't uh, throw you away. He doesn't abandon you. He doesn't forsake you. He doesn't, um, you know, uh, love you one minute and throw you away the next. You know, God doesn't do that to us. Not like man. So, today, give God his praises that are due. Give God the praises that are due. Because he can do some wonderful things in your life when you let him. Okay, everybody? I hope that you had a uh, marvelous time uh, with our daily devotional today. And I want to say, like I I put it out there, you know, for the hundredth person that subscribes to my Spotify Spotify to Spotify for my podcast on Spotify will receive a hundred dollar gift card, Amazon gift card, to the hundredth person that subscribes to my Spotify, my podcast on Spotify, just on Spotify. The hundredth person that subscribes to to Sheree Johnson Moore's podcast on Spotify, just on the Spotify app, will receive a $100 Amazon gift card, okay? I hope everyone has had a nice day. I hope everyone um, 
get uh, to praising and worshiping God because he is worthy to be praised. All right. And I love you all. And I will talk to you later on um, Daily Devotional. And we are going to be in 2 Chronicles chapter 6, uh, chapter 6, 1 through 42. 2 Chronicles chapter 6, 1 through 42. And it will speak about Solomon's speech, Solomon's prayer, and we're going to deep dive into that one next. Okay, I hope everyone has a blessed day, and I will talk to you later on Daily Devotional. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye, babies. Hello, incredible listeners. It's Sharice here, your host at Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast. I'm thrilled to have you with us for another inspiring episode. Today, I have an exciting opportunity to share with businesses, brands, and fellow podcast enthusiasts out there. Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast has become a hub for positive conversation, personal growth, and inspiring stories. Our listeners are engaged, passionate, and eager to discover new products and services that align with their values. And now, we're opening up the doors for advertising partnerships. If you have a product, service, or message that resonates with our audience, we love to feature it on our podcast. Why advertise with us? Well, you'll get exposure to a diverse and dedicated audience. Your brand showcased in a positive and uplifting environment and the chance to be part of a community that believes in making a difference. We offer various advertising packages to suit your needs, from sponsorship segments to product placements and everything in between. It's a fantastic way to connect with our our listeners and let them know about what you have to offer. If you're interested in advertising on Sharif Johnson Moore's podcast and being a part of a space that values authenticity and positivity, reach out to us at snjm at sharicenjohnsonmore.com and let's discuss how we can collaborate and create something amazing together. I'm genuinely excited about the possibilities of featuring your brand on our podcast. Together, let's inspire, uplift, and make every episode an incredible experience for our listeners. Thank you for considering Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast for your advertising needs. I can't wait to hear from you and share your story with our wonderful community. Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 beautiful souls. It's Sharice Johnson Moore here, your host of Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast, along with other uh, different shows that we have on this podcast, such as Daily Devotional, Morning Word and Worship, Let's Talk Sunday, Entrepreneurial Corners, and Authors Excerpt Sunday. Today, I'm reaching out to our incredible listeners for an opportunity that's close to my heart. Producing this podcast is a labor of love, and I'm truly grateful for the support you've shown so far. As we continue to grow and evolve, I'm excited to invite you to be an even more integral part of this journey. Your contributions can play a vital role in helping us maintain the quality of content you love. If you've ever thought about supporting Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast, now's the perfect time. We've made it simple. If you enjoy our podcast and would like to contribute, you can do so through our PayPal link in the description box. Your donation, no matter how small, goes directly towards the production and improvement of our episodes. You can go to PayPal.com dot me backslash 
S N J M O O R E. PayPal.me backslash S N J M O O R E to make your donations. Simply just give and and you will be making a contribution that is it quick and easy. Every donation makes a significant difference. I want to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude to each and every one of you. Your support means more than words can convey. I'm honored to have you as part of our podcast family. If you're unable to contribute financially at this time, your support is still invaluable. You can help by sharing our podcast with your friends, family, and on social media. Every bit counts. Thank you for your considerate consideration of supporting Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast. Your generosity allows us to continue creating content that uplifts and inspires. Here's to more episodes filled with positivity and growth. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. And everyone have a blessed day. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I want to say thank you for listening to the podcast for this morning of Daily Devotional. I pray that you have a very blessed day. And remember that God loves you. He cherishes you. And he will never leave you nor forsake you. Okay? And I love you. And I will talk to you again tomorrow for our meetup for Daily Devotional. All right now, go out and conquer the day. With God on your side, all things are possible. Okay? All right. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye, babies.